Whether they got their senior season in or not, many local athletes donned the cap and gown this week to receive those diplomas, including one prep in particular up in Cache Valley, who got a double dose of emotion for sure. For this Skyview senior, it's a story of patience and love, a story that was well worth the wait. Sam Phipps didn't ask too many questions. I was ecstatic to be able to be bringing a baby home, but at the same time, my heart just ached knowing that I was taking a child from his mother. Until the moment was right to start connecting those dots linked to his family tree. Do you remember when? Probably when I was like 14 or 15. Yeah, just wanted to know more like where I came from. For this Bobcat, basketball had become his life. <laughs> With the help of Phipps's long and lanky presence in the middle, Skyview won a state title in 2019, <laughs> nearly winning another back in February. All the while, he had never met the woman who brought him into the world. Sam's mother, Mia, forced to put him up for adoption shortly after birth. The day we went to pick him up, um, I asked her what kind of communication did she want, and God bless her, she looked at me and she said, this is your son, I want you to raise him. For Sam, he was content. Raised in a good home in Cache Valley. But thanks to the modern world, it did not take long to finally locate that other half. Me and my two sisters and my mom were just sitting upstairs and my sister's like, hey, have you like found her or anything like that? I was like, no. And then she literally in like 10 minutes found her on Facebook. And so just in time to watch Sam receive that diploma, Mia flew in from New Mexico to see her long lost son for the first time. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. That's good. It's good to see you. You too. What was that like for you? I can honestly say I didn't see past just meeting him. <laughs> I just was, I've been a ball of all kinds of emotions actually for a couple of weeks now. What do you think of our boy? <laughs> he's beautiful. Just pure joy because now he's, you know, has that void filled and he can know who he is, who he looks like. So you had nine? <laughs> yeah, nine. And he's the youngest of nine. Yeah, I was like looking through my baby book and just seeing the picture of us. And because that baby book picture is the only uh, way that I could see her. I wanted him to choose to want to meet me. And, and you know, in my head, it wasn't going to happen until he turned 18. So, you know, knowing that that 18th birthday was coming up and then for him to contact me before even his 18th birthday, that was very exciting. Soon to serve an LDS mission, Sam is committed to play for the College of Southern Idaho after that. Being the baby of the family, I've been able to devote a lot of time and attention to his basketball and it's just been a really fun journey to travel with him um, to different tournaments and um, watch him play and improve and and um, to grow as a man. You guys look exactly alike. <laughs> but for now, he'll always remember this week, the week where he had two moms. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.